Sunday, people. What's going on? This is your boy Face, aka Casey. Whatever, rearrange it. 1878 Casual, Terrascope, Mumumi Ice Cream. Yes, yes. And we just watched Manchester United beat Villa, piss on Villa, 1 0. And personally, I'm happy, but I want to ask you, what do you think about the tinkering of the lineup? Tinkering of the lineup. Well, it's rest and rotation, it's trying to have control in a match. And Very we know. True. We know Dracula is going to have Villa organized at the back. And so Ericsson, Bruno, going to be needed for the that, that creative. Slightly you know. submissive too. Yeah. Because he put him in, eventually it looked like it was a number 10. But then Bruno ended up there sometimes. They kind of they kind of all interchanged when, right. when needed. Um, it was like heart attack time. It was. <laughs> it it was. It was, and it was, it was a rough watch because there was a lot of people in people's ears, but <laughs> it's, it's just the atmosphere. I, I thought that um, the boss got it right by doing his own thing and using his lineup more creatively. You know, the fact that he started, the fact that Anthony didn't start blew my mind. I don't know. How do you think? Yeah, he's, he's almost been like undroppable for a half. He works hard. Uh, he holds the width. It was a wet, messy game. Uh, we weren't as clinical as we needed to. Yeah. That'd be one that was a problem. Critique. Um, and then we let him build into the second half. Kind of dropped back, invited the pressure. Right. Uh, but in the end, they didn't have what it takes to, to nick the goal from us and get, and get the point. So, yeah, like I said, it, it, was, I, it was nerve time. But it, at the end, it's happy days. It's the happy days. I, I felt the work ethic was key. I felt the boss. I, yeah, you were saying that everyone's working for each other. Yeah. Tracking back, we being in the right it. position. Yeah. Right. Trusting each other. Sign of a sign of a well well coached side. I let, think. Go ahead. Let me ask you. You were talking about Lindelof oh, and wow. how well he's playing alongside not McGuire, but alongside Shaw. Um, How was he for you? First of all, I don't like to slag off players. So, there's an impression about McGuire. Is the, it's, it's like a plague, but that's rough. But Lindelof, to me, his last few matches, because honestly, we have all been concerned when we lost Martinez and Varane, naturally you're going to say the defense is going to drop. Luke Shaw, we knew what he could do. And we thought Luke Shaw would be able to cover it, but Victor Lindelof, for what he's been doing, it's been actually awakening a uh, new Lindelof. Some people said, well, he's he's not that good, but I thought this is his, this is his best, would you say this is his best footy he's played? I didn't know he had so much energy. He's having he's having a run of games where he's growing into games. You can see the, the effort there, the clearance off the- It's very cerebral the too, yeah. Um, and then he's got some offensive skill where he can he can step up, carry the ball, and make he's got a passing passes. Yeah, he's got a range of passes. It's just something about is he's more confident. With someone That's with, true. With a little more pace, and they can play that that role together at the back. So I th I thought I thought he did really well. Were you concerned that no Aaron Wan Bissaka was going to play? I mean, uh, so Ollie Watkins has been a, 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 on, on, a, on a good run, but this Villa side doesn't really like to, to attack wide. Yeah, they, they, they like to come up their left or right. Right. But I think Leon Bailey not playing was huge because we could go that's, with. That's a Jamaican guy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's saying that. Big up all Yachty. But um, I just thought, you know, we got by it. I, because personally, I thought, well, I, don't want to, I don't want to make it about him, but this just shows how good Delo is in my eyes. Okay. And uh, how was Molossia? How, how did you rate his, his match? Way better than the last two, <laughs> i tell you that. Because I had some concerns because he was playing immature the last few ones, but today he was solid. Um, no cleric. Seems like in the other past games, he was waiting for someone to help him, but he took initiative. And okay. I thought all around the whole team, Casemiro played better. Yes. Way way better control uh, his timing of the tackles a lot, a lot better and not getting caught on the ball and it, it seemed like what we wanted to do you you had mentioned this but 
when we when when the ball back we'd go direct. Go direct. And uh it wasn't always coming off. I thought Sabitzer was fine. Um but all around I'm I'm if we could be more clinical, but you know, we'll take it what it is, it's a one zero. Every coach will tell you a one zero match is a tough match. It's the most respectable win you could get when you won zero because you're fighting the whole game. And I'm just proud of the boys. So um let's we're gonna get no one gets pregnant when you keep the same shape. <laughs> get in here. Today I actually like you know what I loved? I love I Ten Hag saw the way that Villa were gonna come and play and press us and set up accordingly and the and whole game was compressed. Yeah. And so like 15 yards at the end of each half, and we just couldn't get the ball right over the yeah, top. Final, yeah, final ball and over the top. Which has been the story of the season. Yeah. But yeah, we're trying to stretch them with with long balls, exactly. and it's just the the maybe the first touch wasn't there. Um, yeah, pass wasn't there. But, but those, these you're gonna have these games, and, and we were we were saying before, this is the difference between a team that's trying to get. You know, six, maybe get in the fourth, and the team that's trying to, you know, get into sol solidly compete Dude, towards the top of the league. It's clean sheets. Yeah. Like, if you don't concede any goals, if you have enough talent, you're probably going to nick one. Yeah. And that's what we did again yeah. today. You know, it just keeping us that we have the, mo I believe we have the most clean sheets in the league. Now. Yeah. This is, they, is they still won't give it to him. Golden yeah. Glove or. The hands, I, I think, too clear. The yeah. like too the, I think that's his 14th or 15th okay. clean sheet in the league. Actually, I think that's the most in Europe. It is the most in Europe. European football. So, despite our poor on paper defensive record in the league, because we... Giving up a lot of yeah, goals. Yeah, well, well, we give up seven to Liverpool, six to yeah. City, four to Brentford. Painful. Yeah, but, like... Over the course of the season, we've been really good at the back, and yeah. all you need is one chance. And we have Rashford, and, you know. Yeah, over. we took our we took our chances for another. We with need the, a with striker. The it's it's really starting to show. Like it's, it's been shown. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then our midfield holding the ball more, more control. Not I thought Casemiro was yeah. a lot better today. And so that, that doesn't put the pressure on the, on the back four. When you, can, when you have people comfortable on the ball who don't panic when someone's, you know, like pressing them and closing yeah. them down, just lay the ball up, play a little triangle, it makes all the difference. Man of the match for you? Today? Oh. Probably Lindelof. Lindelof, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, that was a huge moment. So, that, that clearance. That clearance off the line was massive. Yeah. That was massive. And he was he was man of the match last weekend against Brighton as well. He's, unfortunately, I think he's going to leave. What? Okay. Yeah. You you wouldn't think that he's uh, happy being the third or I, choice? Or? Un unfortunately, I don't think we're going we're gonna yeah. to get rid of Maguire. <laughs> okay. And I think we're going to bring in someone else. Yeah. And he's going to look at it and say, oh, I'm not going to get no point in time. Okay. I would much rather we get rid of Maguire and keep one off. Keep myself included, yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. But I think he's massively underrated. Okay. I think he's awesome. Yeah. So big up Lindelof today. Yeah. Massive clearance. And an all-around good, good, solid performance. And a really up pissing the down the rain. Reds. Up the fucking Reds. There we go. Mr. Sinatra. Wagwan, Wagwan, 18, 1878 Holy casuals. Shit, He's standing on a box. I don't know. He's, He's not really. Wegwurst is me if I'm playing football. <laughs> let's just, let's be clear. All right. Three points is three points. That's point one. Two, we improved on the performance from Thursday, right? That was, that was you know, a shade better than what we did against Spurs. And three, we're looking better for the top four. But I don't know what we were doing. With our shots today, but nobody was getting any power on any shot. Like we yeah. were getting in the right positions and then just like kind of rolling it. Scruffing it. I don't know what that. It. Yeah, miss hitting it. I don't know what that was. It's, it's uh, wet, rainy conditions. It's I don't know. If it's, it's Manchester. Is. I don't know. I mean, yeah. they, they've trained in that. They should be able to play. They it. have the short studs on, maybe. I don't maybe know. I don't know. But it was that was another game where I'm frustrated because. We could have been clear, and we mostly controlled the game and just didn't take our chances. And, and, and football is one of those games where 
one nil is not always enough to win a game. I mean, you know, you're, you're panicking all the way through stoppage time, you know, hoping they don't score. And they're building confidence through the rest of that game that, well, you know, we're, we're not, you know, what do, blowing what do, them away. What do, you, what do you think of the, the subs today? I know there's a lot of criticism of subs today. but I can't criticize Ten Hag on any substitutions he makes right now because he's stuck with the team that he's got. You know, we don't have any impact players off the bench. We don't have um, – you don't have the depth that we thought we had. We're missing a lot of key players. I mean, who, who are you going to bring on? I know people are crying for police street. It's kids, right? Yeah, it's kids. And, and honestly, in a, it's different when you're putting a, a police street in a position where he can be successful. We're already winning the game or, you know, there's, he's got a chance to, you know, to do something It's different when you bring him in and it's a no win situation yeah. right like that's going to kill his confidence you need a, 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 prof- a season professional a season professional those high are, pressure games but you know it's we honestly you know as at manchester united we've been just blessed with with talent through the youth so we're expecting everybody's the next gigs the next george best the next david beckham the next nicky butt and it's just that was a one-off that was a one-off in history and that's why we love the class of 92 but some of these guys, they need more nurturing. It's not like just blood them directly into the first team. Like, you just can't do that anymore. Football is different. They're playing against men now. And then a guy like and Police Street, they were wasted two years on loan, and the team was doing nothing. And, you know, and in to be fair, Spain. They, they were – Class of 92 was coming in with Cantona. Yeah, I mean, they had Cantona. Keen, Keen right. you know, so Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce. It's a, it's a different situation. Yeah, the so. veterans that had already won the league. Like, the only player in this team that has won the league is David De Gea. Like, oh, wow. yeah. think about that. There's the only, only player on the Manchester United team that's got a Premier League winner's medal is David De Gea. So, I mean, that just shows you all these – it's new to everybody. I mean, yeah, we've got a couple cups under our belt, but that's still the next level. And for me How, – How's top four looking for you? Honestly, I think we're, we're solid for top four. I know a lot of people want to finish third, but what's the difference between third and fourth? At the end of the day, what is the difference? There's no difference. One place. Our only thought right now should be FA Cup final. We want everybody healthy. We want we our best them. player, Vinicar Nacho, healthy. We need Sabitzer and Erickson and Casemiro not to be suspended or have any issues. We need a full strength team, and that can be a successful season. You know, I know I said before we're in the title race, this and that, but it's, you know, Arsenal's blown it. We, we can only focus on what we can control right now, and that's what we can control. So, so top four is in our hands. I think it's in our hands. And a strong I, finish. And, you know, we've, we've got a little bit easier run in than some of the other teams. Like, you know, we still have to play Chelsea, and they're, you know, they're terrible. Terrible, right? We're looking forward to Frank, so. That's it for me. That's my two cents. Um, I think we had a pretty good game. We're going to get in our friend from Norway over here. And man of the match for me, Casemiro. I thought he was brilliant in the second half. All right. All right. Hey, All right. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, welcome to LA. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the match? What, what, what was something that stood out for you? Oh, uh, actually, I think the match today was a little bit better than on last time around. The yeah, that's perfect, yeah. Um, we finally managed to finish it off, not making huge mistakes yeah. uh, that cost us. Managing the game yeah. much better. So, uh, I think a lot, a lot of the things that they did today was much better. Okay. Uh, just as in Syria as well, uh, we did a lot of personal mistakes and uh, yeah. that really messed up. Okay. Yeah, so cutting the mistakes. It seemed like everyone was playing for each other. Yeah. A lot of effort, uh, tracking back. Yeah, a lot lot more tracking back and a little bit more speed. Uh, Yeah, I noticed noticed the subs he brought on, it was guys who can fly around the pitch. Not not really control with passes, but defensively they can really fly around the pitch. Yeah, and they provide a lot of, if we do get any counter attacks. Uh, they got a lot of speed and flares, and they can do right. things on their own. Anthony can do it yes. when he gets. The yeah, he he was and, he was on the left today. Yeah, right? he was on the wrong side, but uh, <laughs> well, maybe had a shot with his up. right with his right foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think uh, he, he needs some more uh, more time to adjust. Yeah, because uh, he does have a way of just. 
going inside, cutting inside, trying with his special yeah. shot. Uh, uh, left, he, left footed curl out. Yeah, he should try to get, sometimes go outside and try across. And especially when we have Wake Horse up front, yeah. we are not using our crosses and the abilities that he has to provide headings towards goal uh, yeah. or heading down passing. Yeah, it seems like it wasn't a lot of build up for us, a lot of possession and build up in the second half. No. For us today. A lot uh, of, like you said, a lot of direct yeah. to our and, athletes. Uh, they were, I think they were trying a little bit too hard. Okay. Uh, having some of the latest results in the back of the head okay. that uh, they shouldn't who's, do major mistakes. Okay. Who, who's your man of the match? I like Lindelof. Lindelof, uh, okay. I think he did a really good job today. Yeah. So, uh, and he's been improving his game lately. It looks a lot more more confident. Yeah. Um, a, a, a decent partnership there yeah, with and, Shaw. Yeah, and he can fit in and play with both the regular center, mid, uh, yeah. center backs that we have. So um, I, I think he can pro provide quite a lot Okay. times ahead. I'll agree with that. All right, there you have it. Uh, match reaction, 1-0 uh, win at home against Villa. Top four, unless we really just fall apart. We're in a good position, like, like the boys said. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for us from the pub. Uh, we'll see you next time, 1878 Casuals. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new, if you haven't subscribed yet. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, man. Thank you.